hi there. Just um, letting you know I've got a car on fire near the corner of Lawson Street and Ebley Street in Bondi Junction. The Bondi Clinic is used to its share of drama. But today, the emergency is happening outside. What happened? Just tried to turn around and just grab a park and it just didn't caught on fire. So he just pulled up and all of a sudden the smoke was coming out. All of a sudden, mate, yeah. I'm sure that one's going to be salvaged. No, I think, I think she's gone. Yeah. yeah. Intensive care, and I think we lost it. A silly boy took the guinea pigs down to the trampoline, and I think he might have jumped on the guinea pig by accident. No, he didn't. Inside the clinic, a family feud has broken out between Hugo and his little brother, Alfred. Hugo's guinea pig, Sugar, is paralysed after Alfred jumped on her. She just wasn't moving and her legs were just lying out on the floor. And I weren't working and also. Mm. That's extra sad because she's such a friendly girl. So this happened all of a sudden? Yeah, because of that troublemaker. What? Alfred? Did you jump on top or next to? Next. The bones in these legs actually feel okay? which makes me think that the problem actually isn't in the legs, it's higher up along the spine here. Oh. If it is a spinal cord problem, then it is, it is serious. And so we have to work really hard to give Sugar a, a chance of walking normally again. Yes. What I'd like to do is, is take a quick x-ray. Oh, now she is in pain. Any type of spinal injury is serious. The big question here is when that spine buckled, how much damage and how much bruising was done to those spinal nerves? If it's been a lot, then sugar may never walk again. We have a big bull mastiff and he bit Napoleon and just threw him to one side. At Sash, nine-week-old Napoleon is in agony after suffering shocking facial injuries. You could tell that he'd been hurt because he'd screamed like a little girl, a very high-pitched squeal. It was horrifying. At the front, his teeth look like they've all been separated. His jaw's coming forward, and then he's got some teeth there and some teeth at the back. Leslie and Lucy have owned their other dog, Diesel, for six years. Now they've been forced to make a heartbreaking decision. I'm really worried they might bite someone. Um, so I've, I've sent him to my sister, so she's going to look after him. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry, and I mean, there was probably only the other alternative, and I I couldn't do that. Oh, no. Did you get beaten up? Hey? Oh, dear. What's he done? I know. It's obvious that he's got a broken jaw. It's just a matter of um, exactly how it's broken, how many pieces it's in. I'm a little worried that it's going to be smashed, and. I just don't know what we're going to do if there's no bone there for me to put pins into. X-ray. At the Bondi Clinic, Sugar's X-ray results are ready. You look down the, the spinal column here, all the vertebrae are actually in place. It really reinforces my belief, my suspicion, that it has been some sort of compression of the spinal cord around this area, which is then affecting the function of these legs here. It all depends right now how serious that compression was. Right now, the damage has been done. We can't do anything about that. But what we can do mm. is try to limit the swelling that will cause more and more damage and more pressure on those nerves. It's just how... The guinea pig will need a second injection within 48 hours, but there are no guarantees she'll ever walk again. Alfred, this is really important, buddy. Two hands along the side, like that. Oh, OK. OK? Yeah. And she goes in like that. We just can't afford for that spine of hers to bend around. Yeah. Chris is now letting Hugo take Sugar home to recuperate. You call me any time you need some help, OK? Mm -hmm. Thanks, buddy. Right, thank you. No worries. That's really good. At the moment, I just don't know how this is all going to end up for Sugar. But for Hugo's sake, I really hope it's a happy ending because he loves this guinea pig. And if it doesn't work out, he's never going to forgive his little brother. I'll definitely take care of Sugar, especially from him down there.
had a call to go and see a miniature pig who's apparently having a problem with, of all things, who knows ring. Now, I haven't really got my head around this whole pet pig craze just yet, but apparently she's cute, she's tame, so she could be the one to convert me. We'll see. Lola! Come on, Lola! Lola is a two-year-old miniature pig and a spoilt pet. He's a lovely pig. You want to tickle Lola? <laughs> I've always wanted a pig. Don't ask me why, but I just have an affinity for pigs, I think. So indulged is Lola, this is how she celebrated her second birthday. <laughs> but it's not just cake that Lola loves to get stuck into. She's now broken her baby nose ring and is ripping up the lawn with her snout. My husband hates this. If this goes on much longer, she's she's pork chops. I have had problems finding a solution locally. None of the vets would come out. Um, but a, fr a friend suggested Dr Chris, and um, he's been kind enough to say he'll come out. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Is that Lola? That's Lola. Absolutely. I was expecting a miniature pig. <laughs> she is a mini pig. We got the pig right, but just the miniature part. Not quite, but that's not a miniature hole. No, she's causing big trouble around here. A nose ring for a pig might seem like something that's almost cosmetic, but it's actually far from it. It's quite impractical. What it does, it stops them from digging because it actually forces the pressure when their nose goes through the soil through the middle part of their nose, which for them feels uncomfortable. I can do the job for you. It just depends on what she's like as a patient. I think she's a pretty cool pig. I think you've caught her on a good day. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Just a little scuffle. Oh, I don't... <laughs> it's going to be easy. <laughs> Big brute of a mastiff. It's kind of... Nine-week-old Napoleon has had his jaw smashed by the bull mastiff he lives with. Andrew Marchevsky is hoping reconstructive surgery will be able to repair the damage. No, it's not that bad. It's a really nasty little fracture. In a way, he's lucky that's all that's happened, because if the dog had bitten him a little further back, he might have punctured his brain and that would be the end of it. I'm going to try and put some pins in the front here, but. That bone's it's pretty soft. I don't know how much holding power we'll get, but we'll see. Poor little bit. The front part of his jaw has just been crushed. There's just not a lot for me to work with here, so it's a challenge. He's going to be on jelly and ice cream for a while. is not stable yet. So we're just going to connect up these pins with this putty and then it'll form one sort of solid frame. Once we've got the putty on the pins, that's the critical bit because once that sets, we can't move it. So now the whole jaw is working as one and there's no wobble in it anymore. There's a bit of swelling in here, partly as a result of the pins going in, and that's going to be a little bit of concern for us. So we'll have to watch him pretty carefully for the next couple of hours as he's waking up. Oh, I need a one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris is coming to grips with his piggy patient. Oh, oh la. Oh, she got me too. Oh, <laughs> She's quite a menace when you have the thread of the bite and the thread of the puncture of the steel rings at the front. You're almost the ultimate animal fighting weapon right now. The simple fact is we can't hold her to do this. We actually need to sedate her or even anaesthetise her. But just getting the drugs into her, that's going to be the biggest challenge. How are we going to get her to stand still long enough to get those needles in and not get bit in the process? No. 
Didn't quite work good out. Good girl. That's a good girl. Two needles now. Her skin's just too tough, so we need a change in strategy altogether. We've got to be more forceful. <laughs> That's the sound of an angry pig. She's flipped it out with her trail. Smart. All points so far to the cunning Lola. Standoff, isn't it? Lola, just wanted to talk to you. It feels like I've been a little bit unfair and treated you a little bit too forcefully. Lola has been digging up the property she lives on with her broken nose ring and Alison's husband has laid down the law. Either Chris helps stop the digging, or Lola will be pork chops. And I'm wondering how he's going to do it. The answer is a new nose ring. But after several unsuccessful attempts to sedate the pig, Chris needs a new strategy. So obviously the injections just aren't happening. She's running away. So what I'm going to do is put some tablets that contain the sedative in a piece of apple, and that way since she loves her food so much, she'll take this, then she'll get sleepy. Then, I have the advantage. It's a little bit of a peace offering, OK? There you go. You're forgiven? Yeah? As long as we're OK. We OK? Lola. Slowly, Lola is succumbing to the sedative. She's looking to be just about where we want her now. She's ready. She's nice and asleep there. I just want to give her a few pats. It's half of it. Right, there we go. This just goes in here. Three. And you look. As you can see, it's as simple as that, really. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Just a um, matter of an injection and, and a way to go. Okay. It's been three hours since the delicate surgery on Napoleon's shattered jaw. Finally, the little pug has recovered enough to be allowed a visit from owners Leslie and Lucy. It'll be a bit of a shock for you, because yep. he's got this sort of contraption on his face. Oh, here you go. I know. Here you go. You say hello to your mum. Hello. Oh, my God. What have you got on your face? Yes. It's really sad to see all that round his face. It's just so little. The operation has been a success, but Napoleon will have to be fed by syringe for at least the next three weeks. So you just give him a slow little trickle, just like you would feeding a baby, really. I really didn't expect him to survive. I really didn't. Now look at him, huh? huh? Now look at him. Well, isn't he just the cutest? Give him a bit of a lick, yeah. You know, they're doing some renovations or Alfred's a lot more dangerous than we thought. It's been 48 hours since Sugar the guinea pig was brought into the Bondi clinic with paralysed legs. Oh. Oh. Wow. This is the scene of the crime where naughty Alfred jumped on her. Is that the trampoline, Alfie? Yes. OK. We were on it. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> hey, Shooks. The very concerned Hugo has been giving Sugar constant care. We'll get her out. And we'll see how she walks around here. And so we'll just squeeze a little toes here. Yep, so she flinches, that's good. 
we might just see how she how she walks on them. So we'll just move her forward here and see she's still dragging them. The problem she's got there is that she's probably not too aware of where her feet are. It's like having dead legs in a way because the messages aren't getting through quick enough. Okay. So she can't put her feet in the right place. The plan for sugar today is to give an injection of anti-inflammatories with the hope being that might free up some space to get those messages down the spinal cord. Okay, little sugars. If this doesn't change, there's not much of a future for sugar. Look, you're doing a really good job. So we'll put it back in. It could be days, even weeks before, I'm gonna know if she's ever gonna walk again. Napoleon, why are you having a sleep, mate? He's trying to go home. Just three Come days on. after surgery Come to on. fix his fractured jaw, Napoleon has made a remarkable recovery. Here we go. Oh, dear mum. It looks really confronting, but the fracture's now stable, it can't move anywhere, and he's much more comfortable. He's a much happier little guy. You've got a Chris Brown jaw now. Come on, we'll take you home. <laughs> Outside, a relieved Leslie and Lucy are arriving to pick up their baby pug. But despite the great result, Tell him we'll find your mum. There's a lingering sadness for Leslie. It was her other dog, Diesel, who attacked Napoleon, and she's been forced to find him a new home. I've had Diesel for seven years, and I've, I know I'm going to cry, um, and I've had to give him to my sister. Um, but um, when the little fella gets older, I'll probably um, try and get them to be friends again. Oh. Who's that? <laughs> Hello. Come to get you. I love you. <laughs> you coming home? It will take at least three weeks before Napoleon can finally get rid of that annoying scaffolding. Napoleon's really come out of this pretty well, considering, you know, if he'd have been bitten two centimetres further back in his head, he'd be dead. There's also good news for Lola. The new nose ring is working, and she's stopped digging up the garden. My husband has settled down, and uh, we're expecting Lola to live a long and happy life with us. Hello. Ten days later, and Chris makes another house call to check up on Little Sugar. It's my back just to look at him. Alfred obviously hasn't settled down, but has the victim of his boisterous behaviour managed to bounce back? So here you go. I mean, she's walking around. Yeah. Yeah, so she's improved, huh? Yes, a lot. Hey, look at this. Look at she goes. And you know what? <laughs> yeah. She's happy to move around. Why? Because of food. I the, key, the key to rehabilitation has been you, Hugo, and food. This is an incredible recovery considering where she was at before. I mean, she had no movement in those back legs at all. To turn around and do this, I mean, a, a human spinal surgeon would, would marvel over this. So you have to be impressed with how Sugar's gone in difficult circumstances. Sugar may be running around again, but Hugo still hasn't forgiven his little brother. Hit him next time. If he does something to my name, he'd like that again. Hugo deserves to be so happy with what he's managed to achieve with Sugar. But you get the feeling that he's going to be Sugar's protector for a long time. <laughs> One day your parents are going to tell you about a thing called the 21st birthday. And that's when this is going to be really funny. Yeah? Yeah. And when they play the video, you'll understand. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No worries.